we've explored some ideas to improve stress and reduce displacement. Now, we can perform model analysis of the mount. Let's do this in a separate simulation. In the set, click on the arrow above the simulation title and select Duplicate. Rename the new simulation to Model. Now, let's click on the Natural Frequency button in the Physics group of the Simulation tab. Doing so will switch you over to Model Analysis. Note that if there are any previous loads, the Model Analysis will be pre-stressed and will be indicated in the SID. You can run Free Vibration Model Analysis by removing all loads. Now, we can click and solve and evaluate the first three natural frequencies. Note that the number of frequency modes in the solution can be modified in the physics stream. Similar to the previous design iterations, we can perform various changes here and monitor them as we aim to increase the natural frequencies. We'll consider these frequencies adequate for this case study. Reorient to the home view, zoom in, and let's save a scene as frequency mode 1. The last thing we'll want to do is apply thermal conditions experienced from the engine. We'll idealize this condition by defining the temperature at the lower attachment basis of the mount. Similar to the model analysis, we'll click on the arrow above the simulation title, right click on the first simulation created, and select Duplicate. Rename the simulation to Thermal. We'll select these two faces to assign the temperatures. Now, in the ribbon, Click on the Solid Thermal button and select the Temperature tool. We'll assign a 100 degrees Celsius temperature. Before hitting Enter, notice that the SID shows a static structural problem. Now, hit Enter. You'll see that now we have a thermal part to the simulation. Note that convection is automatically set up for the remaining faces of the mount. This can be adjusted or kept as is. Reorient to the home view. Zoom in and let's solve this thermomechanical problem. And let's save a scene as thermal. 